so uh, uh, for Sri Lankan conditions uh, we usually use the Australian code but uh, in Midas uh, it does not have this uh, inbuilt code so we have to go with the um, euro code so let's uh, let me show you how to apply wind and earthquake uh, loops so first you have to uh, define the loads wind and then again wind and as the ex earthwork in x direction and again EY uh, earthquake in y direction okay so after defining the loads uh, we can then uh, start applying the loads so the wind load add uh, wind in the x direction I'm gonna use zero code one zero code one for uh, wind actions uh, and the recommended uh, well, whatever the uh, annex recommended because they don't have the Sri Lankan annex uh, but Singapore annex is uh, quite okay and uh, for the wind load parameters uh, so you have to define the terrain categories uh, and uh, usually let's say if this structure is in Colombo we can usually uh, 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 like define that the terrain category is 3 as three but you have to uh, get these uh, values properly from the euro code and uh, usually the basic wind velocity the recommended basic wind velocity uh, for Colombo is 38 so I will uh, 38 and these are so usually we don't have uh, very, very significant uh, directional or seasonal uh, changes in wind uh, in Sri Lanka so these factors can be kept as one and uh, the building heights it's been specified automatically and uh, of course the uh, the wind pressures for windward and leeward uh, this uh, they automatically specify or else uh, you can uh, take the win uh, the windward and leeward uh, pressure coefficients from the euro code and apply uh, apply here um, and also when defining the wind loads uh, we know that we have to uh, apply 100% wind load in the X direction uh, and uh, Y direction it should be zero uh, so that's it and we can uh, see the wind profile uh, it gives the wind profile the pressure and all the wind forces that has been uh, that have been applied uh, as per the euro code uh, everything you can um, automatically generate from uh, in my last gen uh, so the story forces the two story shear the overturning moment due to wind loads everything will be uh, automatically generated so this is the uh, like the one of the major uh, advantages of uh, using my das so uh, so the wind load has been applied in the next gen so um, you can see uh, they apply the wind load to the shear center with an appropriate uh, centricity they apply the wind load at the shear center so similarly uh, we can uh, uh, define the wind load for the y direction as well so wind y zero code terrain category 3 basic wind velocity 38 and uh, this time uh, i'm taking the wind in the y direction so again you can uh, generate the profile and see the wind forces uh, and everything you say okay and the wind will be applied in the y direction as well and then uh, let's apply uh, the seismic loads the earthquake loads uh, so let's add um, ex uh, so we don't again we don't have the Australian code uh, in uh, my last gen so we will use the euro code and uh, 
so uh, since this is the um, uh, the structure would is anyway going to have a pi foundation so it will be supported into the bedrock so we can set the ground type as a and uh, so these are factors you have to uh, take from the euro code and the peak ground acceleration uh, is uh, what the value recommended for Colombo is 0 0.08 g so that's been specified and uh, these factors again you have to get from the uh, euro code and the x direction uh, so since you are considering the earthquake in the x direction uh, so you have to get 100% uh, of x Uh, here in here, 100% uh, of the x and 0.3% uh, of y, and um, yeah, and you can uh, get the seismic profile just like in the wind load. Yeah, uh, the story forces everything have been uh, automatically calculated. The story shear and the overturning moment. And you can see uh, uh, a significant increment in the uh, transept plate because it absorbs a uh, higher force due to its uh, higher mass so that has been uh, clearly reflected in the uh, diagram so everything has been calculated you can say ok And again, uh, we have to apply the earthquake in the y direction. Uh, Euro code. Uh, so this time, thirty percent in the x direction and hundred percent in y direction. All these uh, uh, loads are being applied at the shear center. And now you can see uh, so the loads have been uh, activated, and um, so these are just for the static analysis. Uh, uh, what we calculate from the Euro code, they automatically calculate it and apply on the structure. But let's say. Uh, if this uh, building is uh, falls into earthquake design category 3 which requires a dynamic analysis uh, in such a case we can uh, define the response spectrum for this uh, structure we just have to go to dynamic loads and response spectrum uh, functions and add and here uh, acceleration Design spectrum A maximum period is uh, is keep it as six and uh, zero point zero eight uh, peak ground acceleration. And this way you can generate the uh, Response spectrum functions in Midas Gen and uh, uh, if required, you can uh, use this as well for your um, if it is a dynamic analysis.
so um, not only the response spectrum uh, analysis uh, you can also uh, uh, perform the time history analysis uh, in my dash gen uh, if uh, if the time history data is available then uh, one can perform this analysis as well and um, 